Grand Rising fam. YouTube family, what's the word? What's going on, man? <sighs> Sad episode right here, man. For real, man. First and foremost, man. Big shout out to the Migos, man. All they friends and family. I send my condolences. You know what I'm saying? Another L, man, for the for the for the for the Bantu community, aka Black community, man. You know what I'm saying? The gods and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Another L for the for the rap community. Even though you know we need to put an end to rap, or at least or at least change the narrative of it. Still, it's another loss, man. Unnecessary loss. You know. Um, I just got the news, man. You know, it just it, it's sad, bro. It's pathetic, bro. That's that's you know that's why, that's what I've been talking about on my last couple of episodes, bro. Like we we gotta stop taking each other out, bro. We wiping each other out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We is wiping each other out, y'all, man, bro. Y'all, I don't. It, it ain't too many people that really understand, bro. Like we're really at war. It never stopped. And I don't want to keep saying white folks, bro, because it ain't all white folks that's that's on that. You know what I'm saying? It's a good chunk of them that is. And, and when I say that, I mean like the Ku Klux Klan and people like that. You know, that just that's they that's that's really their whole existence. That's that's how, that's what they're known for. They're 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 they're, they're a terrorist group. The Ku Klux Klan they is known for. Terrorizing black people, man, my people, Bantu people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, bro, it's just me out, man. I'm tired of hearing about this shit, bro. I mean, we we really we 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 doing their job for them, bro. The Ku Klux Klan ain't gotta do shit. They don't even gotta terrorize us no more. It ain't cause the laws changed. It ain't cause <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh no, they don't do it no more because they don't exist no more, or they they you know they get in trouble by the law now and all that shit. No, it ain't cause of all that, bro. They don't have to do nothing. What? Why would they? Why would they? Cause they still got families and kids and shit and, and wives and all that shit that they gotta take care of too. They gotta raise the next generation of hate. You feel me? So they not trying to take penitentiary chance. Yeah, they get caught up a little more because of the laws and, and, and cameras and things like that. But shit, for the most part, bro, they don't have to do nothing. We're doing their job for them, bro. We're doing it for them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't, man, bro, I ain't gonna lie like... I done met some real sliders, bro. I done met some real deal steppers, you know what I'm saying, in my life, bro. But a lot of times, you know, the people they've gotten out the way, bro, it's usually, man, somebody that's 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 just an old disrespectful-ass motherfucker anyway, you know what I'm saying? Not saying they deserve to die, but shit, that, I mean... To be honest, man, some people is really just in the way, man. Free resides them all, man. That man say, that God say, if you ain't walking in your purpose, why you walking? You useless. That's just real. We, it's, it's, I mean, I think it's time to start getting to that point, man. Well, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if y'all, if, for for anybody that's 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 not helping, that's not going against the grain, you a part of. You know, you know, my heart goes out, man, to 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 um take off, bro, and amigos, bro, Quavo and Offset, and everybody else that was affiliated with them, bro. I don't know the story; I wasn't there, but based off the reports and stuff that I, I I've been hearing, it was it, it was a dice game, bro. It was a dice game, bro. And they say that it, it 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 was it was his own people that end up shooting him, not on some backdoor shit. I don't think, I don't believe, as the reports is going right now. You know what I'm saying? It was really uh, Quavo got into it with 
he, he you know he he was he was fat mouth, you know feeling himself, fat mouth, and according to the to the to um reports, he got into it with somebody from, you know the op the the, the opposition the other side. I think they started firing, uh, take off now people started firing it, and he ended up getting hit by now. I think he got hit once by the, the, what they say right now was he got hit one time by the other side, and then he the other times he got hit by his own people. That's fucked up. Why is always is always your own people, bro? That you know what I'm saying? That that it accidental or not, it's always your own people that end up doing it to you in the end, bro. But uh, that's what I be getting at, man. On my videos, bro. Like, when are we gonna learn, bro? That we 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 need numbers, bro. Divided, we stand united. Uh uh uh. United, united we stand, divided we fall. Divide and conquer. Why you think it's so much separation, bro? Why you think so many murders go unsolved, bro? How many rappers we gonna lose, man? How many? We have lost dozens. In the past couple of years, man, I'm I don't even in the, in the past few years I don't even want to start to name them because I don't even want to forget nobody and disrespect nobody. But the list goes on, man. We just lost Trouble. We just lost Dolph. We lost Nipsey. We lost Triple X. You know what I'm saying? And and, and at least Triple X. And, 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 and Nipsey, at least they was trying to change the narrative and talk about positive things. At least Young Dolph was 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 giving back to the community. I'm sure everybody did a little something here and there. But see, we got to they they still in the American mindset consciousness, man. We got to do more than 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 the little giving back, the little giving, you know, book bags and shit. I mean, that's something. Don't get me wrong. That's a start, man. But, bro, we 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 need more ownership, man. All these celebrities that we that's why I be like, fuck these celebrities sometimes, bro. Because all these celebrities that we got that's in places of power, you know what I'm saying, and and get all this money, but we still. Not we, we we still don't own shit, bro. With the Jay Z's, with the Kanye Wests, with the Beyonces, with the Diddy's, with the Ti's. I'm talking about these these high level celebrities the, uh, with the LeBron James. All these NF. I'm talking about these people that's worth millions. Now, if you just getting started, you just getting in the game, you're going to have fun for a couple of years, man. And go on about what you want to buy, go, you know, sleep around, do what you're going to do, travel to work, do what you're going to do, get it out your system. But once you get it out your system and you just sitting on millions and you got everything that you ever asked for, you got your big house already, you know, Joe, once you drive one or two nice cars, you drove them all, man. Come on, man. It's a car. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, to get from point A to point B, bro. You ain't got to have 30 fucking cars, bro. I seen Rick Ross say he got cars he ain't even drove yet. But see, our, our, our American mindset is so fucked up. We think that shit cool. We think that's what's up. Man, I got cars I ain't even drove yet. Ooh, ooh. Bro, you know how many people out here need a car right now, bro? Go get that car. It's a, a family, a, a, a single mother that, 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 you know what I'm saying? Two, three kids and ain't got no help, ain't got no support. Get to her. Get to the father. They got two, three kids. They, they, baby mama ain't shit. Get to him. Don't be sitting around here bragging, talking about some. Yeah, I got cars. I ain't even drove. Yeah, Rick Ross, that nigga man, bro. That man has a house. He, he he's barely even in. Big old multi-room house and he's never there. Why are we spending all this money and buying all this materialistic shit, man? And we can't even do nothing with it, bro. When we gonna learn, bro, how many rappers we gotta lose, bro? To change our mindset, man. Now everybody getting down on Kanye West right now, you know, about him saying Jewish people uh uh run shit. 
They fucking do. It's a video right now with him showing it. The list of Jewish people that's in charge, that, that, that running the show. Now, one of them, or a couple of them, is finna get fat paid off, off, off take off death, man. Because some she signed to some big label. The Migos are A-list, A-list celebrity group. I'm sure they signed to some big label. And I'm sure some white folks or some some um, whoever he was signed to, they probably they finna make money off him. Probably not his family, but they ass finna make money off him and feed their family. This is what Kanye was saying when he was saying, God damn it, uh these people is profiting out, off of us, you know, killing each other. Serial killing each other at that. We laugh about it, we brag about it, we make songs about it. Now we smoking op packs. Bro, you're killing your own people, bro. I don't give a fuck what you niggas beefing about, bro. We've been beefing with each other. Look, man, when, when, when this motherfucker's gonna realize the war's never gonna stop amongst each other, man. We beefing over hoods and blocks and shit that we do not even own, bro. And then when it's all said and done, you killing a nigga, uh, 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 you know, you killing the op. That op might, that, the nigga you just killed. That nigga might be just like your best friend if you got a chance to know him. See what I'm saying? I couldn't even imagine, bro. I couldn't imagine me, bro, killing a nigga, bro, and then come to find out, bro, this nigga act just like my, my, my brother. He act just like my brother, man. They look different. They wear different colors and, and, and shit, you know, uh... Well, they had to a different side and all that shit. Yeah, they got little differences like that. But for, for but at the end of the day, this nigga act just like my brother. Come to find out, and I just killed him. That mean I just killed my brother. So it goes deeper than we all people. Shit, you literally might, cause we all like the same shit, eat the same foods, wear the same clothes, like the same type of women, all type of listen to the same music, watch this. We all like the same shit, but we kill each other like we so fucking different. Meantime, we got real enemies out here. We got real problems out here. We got motherfuckers that's making money off of uh, us killing each other. That's the real fucking problem. That's the real fucking issue. That's what I'm saying. You got all these celebrities that are always bragging about making all this money and shit. But yet we don't own no radio stations. Y'all can't put y'all money together and open up a radio station. So we can at least start promoting positive shit to our people instead of all this negative shit all the time. Why the fuck y'all think it's steady being rappers we hearing about getting killed, man? You ain't hearing about no country singles. You ain't hearing about no R&B singles. You ain't hearing about no uh, 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 pop singles. No rock stars. None of that shit is always us, the rappers, that's getting killed. And I, why is that? It's common sense to me. It's getting to a point damn near where I, I, I'm, you know, it's always sad to lose another, somebody with influence. Because Takeoff might could have, he might could have woke up and started talking that woke shit like some of these other celebrities is doing. Shout out to Derrick Rose. I just watched the interview with him the other day. It's talking that woke shit. Saying we need to know our history. Saying he need to, we we need to know where we from. And he say shit. If it wasn't for him, um, having that injury that made him sit down for a little while, he would have never realized that. The same thing had to go for a lot of other us chosen ones. Man, it takes some time. God, it takes something. God gonna put you in a situation where he gonna sit your ass down and make you realize what's going on, man. That's why it's called the chosen ones, the chosen few. But you get a chosen one like myself, and I don't even like to brag on it because what 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 classifies me as a chosen one versus someone else? So I don't really like to call myself that, but I know I gotta be chosen because I I, I see what's going on versus a lot of people that don't. So it, it, it's people like us that you know what I'm saying get gifted with the opportunity to lift the veil to see what's going on, and we try to wake others up in the process. But I'm getting to a point, man, I, 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 you know, I ain't even feeling sorry for these niggas, man. Not even call them niggas. See, that's, just, that's the American mindset of, of just being so used to that type of lingo. But I don't even feel bad. I'm starting to not feel bad for these guys, man. It's always, again, my heart goes out to the family, bro. But what do we, why, why is it always rappers? What do you expect? 
We make songs. I'm getting more money than you. I fucked your bitch because you broke. Ah, you ain't shit because you broke. Ah, you ain't got on this Gucci, this designer. You ain't got on this, uh, uh, Hermes and all that shit. You, you, you ain't nothing. That's what we rap about. And then we, we, you know, we got this toxic masculinity mindset. We so tough. We so big and bad. We go anybody hood. Who gonna, who gonna fuck with me? I'm whoop the whoop. I get, yeah, I got, this, that's what happened with PNB Rock. Long live PNB Rock. I don't know much of his music, but he still was another brother gunned down, bro. But had materialistic shit. They took his chain and shit, bro. Just so what they finna do with that shit. They ain't finna do nothing positive. Not saying that it, 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 it's good to kill, a, uh, kill kill somebody and take their shit. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't finna, they, they ain't kill dude, take his jewelry, go pawn it, and go open up some businesses so they can, uh, 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 have long long term wealth for their family. No nah, man, they most likely they went they they bought that shit, they they got that shit, pawned it. If they got away, I think they got caught, I don't even know. But if they got away, you know what I'm saying, they most likely pawned it or they wore the jewelry for themselves for clout. Pawned it and bought some stupid shit with it. You know what I'm saying? For clout. So they can look like they got it. But we wonder why it's always rappers. Look at the shit we rap about. I got this, I got that, I'm rich, you not, aha, you broke, I got it though, I'm so, I'm, I'm so rich, I can wipe my ass with it, and then you go in the motherfucking hood, they ain't even your hood, they ain't even where you from, and you in not kicking in that other motherfuckers hood, thinking everybody finna love you, like you want just on the song bragging, saying, aha, nigga, them niggas don't know you personally, them niggas don't, look, look, look we make songs and, and, and glorify and praise niggas for being savages, right? My niggas are savages. It's in everybody's song right now. Everybody a savage. Everybody's a fucking savage right now. And then when, we, then when niggas do savage shit, then, 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 then we want to get sad about it. Them niggas up the pole on them niggas. Now, now, now if it's true that he ended up getting killed by his own people, that's fucked up by accident. But shit, them niggas up the pole on them niggas ready to blow some real savages. And now, 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 but now everybody's finna be all on the new, all, 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 all on the internet and all on the media and shit, sad and shit. Oh man, this gotta stop. This gotta stop. Woo, woo, woo. Well, let's stop making songs about all us being savages, cause we weren't like that, bro. I, I, us as melanated people was not like that, bro. It's, 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 it's tribes in Africa right now that's that 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 refuse to raise their hand to another black man, bro. Cause they know they need to save their energy for the real motherfucking enemy. Meanwhile, our asses over here, we dropping each other like it's a motherfucking sport, bro. Like it's a game, bro. And we wonder why, and everybody wondering why, what's going on? Why we at the bottom of the tone pole? Why black people get treated so bad? We treat each other like shit. Come on, man. We do it to ourselves. How the fuck you expect somebody else to care about us and we don't care about ourselves, bro? Man, Joe, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm just, man. I'm so tired of the bullshit. I'm so tired of hearing about rappers getting killed, man. And, and, and that's just... That's just the people that got a name. Imagine all the people that don't have a name. All the people, all the people in hoods all around America. They not, they don't have millions of followers, thousands of followers. They just your average everyday motherfuckers, bro. And they get killed behind the same stupid, dumb shit, dice games, toxic masculinity. That's what that shit sound like it was to me. Quavo probably was drunk. The niggas he was arguing with probably was drunk or off some type of drugs. Everybody off some type of drugs, feeling good, feeling, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. Little words have changed, and little words have changed. Got niggas in their feelings. And now we got now we got people dead behind him, man. Toxic masculinity. What's wrong with niggas, bro? That's how y'all, that, that, that right there show y'all, bro, that, that, that money ain't everything, man. And we and we doing all this shit, we, we, you know, all this goofy ass shit for for this money for nothing because it be the motherfuckers. Now 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 all these celebrities getting killed, all these rich rappers getting killed. These should be the safest people in the world. 
But no, nah, they would they want to still be macho. No, nah, ain't nobody gonna touch me. I'm still in the hood. Woo woo woo. But you but you in the hood, bro, with talking about all these millions and you around a, a bunch of motherfuckers that's starving, bro. Even if you help some people, you're not gonna be able to help everybody. And that one or two motherfuckers that you didn't help, that's the motherfucker that's the most hungriest. That's the motherfucker that's the most savage that y'all rapping about. That's the motherfucker that's gonna do your ass, bro. Cause he need it. And you got it. Come on, man. Bro, I tell you, bro. Man, we have to realize, bro, family. We have to look at the bigger picture, man. We got to cancel all this toxic uh, uh, toxic masculinity. Thinking, uh, uh, getting, uh, we, niggas, we get in our feelings quick, bro. And we think it's tough. We think it's masculine. We think it's manly to... to, to Quick to be getting your feelings and want to and, and, and want to kill one of your own people about it. But then when you get a brother like me, they they say they go to hollering about. All right, I feel you, nigga. But let's take that energy and let's put it toward the real motherfucking threat, the real motherfucking problem, the motherfuckers that's really trying to wipe us out. Let let's change that energy. Oh no, that's some other shit. That's some sucker shit. What I'm on. No, bro, I ain't trying to kill my own people, bro. Cause we need numbers, bro. We need numbers, bro. I can't do it by myself. Can't nobody do it by themselves, but we all come together and do it. Nigga, it's up there. This is why I shout out to Papa Duck. He did a video on this a while ago with with with, with, with uh a white guy, some white guy explaining how these these these, these corporations and these 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 so called elites, I don't even like calling them elites. You know you ain't elite to me. You just got more money and you just got more motherfuckers to follow you and follow up under you because you got money. Fuck your money. I don't care about your money. I ain't selling my soul. You feel me? But these motherfuckers, they spend millions of dollars on propaganda. They spend millions of dollars on making these movies and, and, and all this shit, man, to keep us fucking dumb, bro. When are we going to get that? When are we going to get that? It's, 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 a, it's a collective consciousness, man. They got us all under one mindset, bro. Dumb. Y'all look at this over here. Y'all look at this over here while we do this over here. That's what majority of us doing. Then, then the ones like me that's like, no, nah, I want to see what you doing. Fuck that shit over there. No, nah, I want to see what you doing right here. We get, we, 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 we get, we get. We get uh, we get outlawed and 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 call conspiracy theorists and all this shit, man. I man, I swear to God, all you gotta do is a little homework. I swear to God, all you gotta do is it, 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 it's just a little bit of self thinking. All you gotta do is ask one or two questions. Just ask, start asking some questions. Don't just keep going for what they tell us, man. It's a reason they they see they put all the shit in our face. Divide and conquer. Look at look at the state we in. We 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 judge each other off of hoods. Oh, this my hood, that's your hood. Nigga, we all in the same shit, bro. We separate each other from hoods. We separate we separate each other from gangs. We separate each other from religion. We separate each other from money, from status, rank. Material shit. Oh, you ain't getting money. I can't fuck with you. Oh, you from that hood. I can't fuck with you. Oh, you from that gang. I can't fuck with you. Oh, you, 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 uh, I'm Christian. You Muslim. I can't fuck with you. Come on, bro. This shit is all dumb, bro. It's all part of the fucking plan, bro. They told us the devil was a lie. And they some lying motherfuckers. How many, how, how, how much lies came out about that goddamn uh, C-19 shit? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know you two be, be, be fucking with people on talking about that. But the C-19 shit, man. How many lies came out about that? Now they saying Pfizer is, 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 was, 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 it was invited to a, a press conference and they refused to show up even though they had no uh, that even though they they was basically exempt from any legal consequences, 
They still didn't show up. They got all type of documents and, and, and shit that's blacked out. Why is all that shit blacked out, bro? Why y'all was saying that this ain't about money at first, but now it, 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 it's, it's, it's paperwork out saying that they trying to make their money back. Joe Biden came out and said it himself. You, anybody that didn't get the vaccine is costing us money. How are we costing y'all money, bro? Because we said no. Because we want to be natural to how life goes. Because we trust God and say, man, you know what? I don't trust y'all. I'm going to trust God. If I get that shit and I die, oh, well, it was my time. That's trusting God right there. You can't go against that shit, bitch. It's all goof ass, man. The shit, got, the shit got me pissed off, bro, because, man, we got to wake up, man. We got to see what's going on, bro. Another rapper down, bro. Another black person down. Another bunk two man down. Another God down, bro. We need everybody, bro. Man, rest in peace to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? That 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 just lost their life to dumb shit, bro. If you ain't lose your life to no natural causes or no shit like that, bro. Man, rest in peace, bro. For real, bro. Cause we all this shit is dumb shit, bro. What we dying for? Dumb ass shit, bro. Man, I'm finna wrap it up, man. I really just want to get on here, man, and, and say long live the uh, takeoff, man. Long live Trouble, long live Dolph, long live Nip, long live my brother Q. Man, everybody, bro, you know what I'm saying? And the, 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 the list is just too long, bro. The list is too long, man. All gun violence. All dumb shit, bro. We got to wake up, y'all. If y'all, listen, at the end of the day, just think about it like this, man. There is a certain group of people that is making money off us killing each other. There is a certain group of people that want us to kill each other. Do y'all understand that there's a list out right now? Where they have predictions of how many people they expect to die in, in, in the next few years or so. How the fuck do y'all know that? Duh, because they letting us fucking do it. They're letting us ex make, make, make each other extinct. They're letting us make each other extinct. They're letting us wipe each other out. Because they're making money off of it. And they, it's two birds and one stone for them. They're getting fat fucking paid off the shit. And they shit, we doing the job for them. So if y'all, if, if, if don't nothing else register to y'all to like, man, let me get off that, bro. So let's think about it like this. The most popular two games right now in Chicago, because of the media, nobody knew about BDs or GDs. Well, not, I ain't going to say GDs. And I ain't going to say nobody knew about them. But that GD and BD war did not get popular. And to the media promoted Chief Keef and all them. Now everybody know about the GDBD war. So just imagine, right? Now I know everybody, you know, now obviously everybody is not GDs or BDs. I'm just using them as an example. Let's just say everybody was GDs or BDs. So you a GD. I'm a BD. Uh let's just say uh How would you feel? Now remember, now man, again, I'm 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 BD, you GD. So, how would you feel if us as the BDs, you know, we up on the score right now. We got we we we, we you know we we majority of the um we got the music game on lock right now. You know we doing our thing, but we start to um we start to making music that's 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 turning the GDs against each other. We start making music that's turning the GDs against each other. We get to saying little slick shit in our song. Oh, Whoop the Woo said they snaked out Whoop the Woo. And Whoop the Woo said they fuck Whoop the Woo, bitch. Now them niggas believe. Now the GDs believe in that shit. Oh, yeah. Now them niggas getting into it with each other. Now as the BDs. Now all we got to do is sit back and laugh and let them niggas kill each other. Now as the GD, how do you feel about that? That's the same thing that's fucking going on right now. 
with the so-called elites versus everybody else, man. Wake up, y'all. Please, bro. We Wake up, y'all. Peace, love, light, elevation, gratitude, man. I'm up out of here, man.